A rising number of black girls. They use tactics including pepper spray, shocking them with tasers and body slamming, often over minor offenses. Joining me now to discuss this is retired Sergeant Cheryl Dorsey. She served on the Los Angeles Police Department for 20 years. Thanks as always for joining us, Sergeant. Uh, Portland Police said the use of force statistics on black girls are in line with the proportion of black people arrested. What do you think of that? I find it offensive. I mean, uh, their use of force is in line and proportionate. Give me a break. They understand that whenever they put hands on people, black folks, that civil litigation is a real possibility. And so these sound bites and, and statements from their representatives are all relative to make sure that they try to minimize and mitigate that bad behavior. Listen, you don't need policy on how to deal with children. All you really need is just common sense. And so we have seen time and time again, police office, officers become heavy handed, mishandle not only our black men, but now our black children. We see it in school resource officers. We see them using the threat of force, uh, tase them, give them calm down juice is what we heard the officer say when they used an animal tranquilizer and ultimately killed Elijah McCain. McLean, and so I find it all very offensive and off-putting. Sergeant, when you were on the force, was it your experience? You must have seen your fellow officers and colleagues um, in those type of situations. Did you personally see that or experience that, the treatment of, of young black women, black girls treated differently than others? What I didn't see was mistreatment because I would never have allowed it. And those officers who do that kind of behavior know who to do it with. I spent 20 whole years in an LAPD uniform. I've had people run from me. I've had people talk to me crazy. I've had people not comply, <laughs> do all of the things that are inherent to police work. And guess what? In my 20 years in patrol, I shot no one. I beat up nobody's children. <laughs> I treated everybody the way I would want you to treat any one of my four sons should the police ever encounter them. And so I know that it's possible. And these excuses are inexcusable. Well, you're a perfect example of what works. Um, as you said, you had all those years and you knew how to deal with people. Um, we know that five years after police killed 12-year-old Tamir Rice in Cleveland, police there put in new guidelines when it comes to dealing with children. Um, what are your thoughts on that? Would you like to see that in other departments? Did it work there? Do they need to do more? Well, you can have guidelines and you can have policies and procedures and all of that is great and good. I don't say no to anything, but when an officer doesn't adhere to those guidelines, when they say, well, it's just a guideline because we have great uh, discretion and, and great deference is given to our version because after all, when they kill us, there's only one version and that's the one that they tell. And so my bottom line, Laverne, is what I say all the time, accountability. Hold officers accountable when they violate policy. Hold officers accountable when they use more force than what's necessary to overcome the resistance and get someone into control. Hold officers accountable when they use deadly force as a first resort rather than a last resort. Sergeant, what should people be telling their children? Because, you know, you're supposed to call the police for help, obviously. Uh, but what about the fact that people might be scared that you call the police for help, but you end up in trouble? How do you have this conversation with your kids? Here's what I encourage everyone to say, which is what I have said to my four sons as they were growing up and now they're young men, but the rules still are the same. Comply. Survive that police encounter. I will take care of the situation uh, when you get to me, but I need you to get home safely. And that's the goal with every police encounter for me as well. Survive that police encounter. Make it home safely. When I get stopped, and I do, they only know that I'm wearing this same brown skin that everybody else out there who looks like me has. And it's not until they find out who I am that somehow their tone and tenor changes. So comply. Survive the encounter. I wish I was there to hear that conversation when you're pulled over by an officer and they find out <laughs> that you're a retired LAPD sergeant. I, I bet that's a great conversation. Uh, but thank you so much as always for joining us. Thank you for that advice. We appreciate it. Take care. And stay with us everyone. We have much more news ahead. This is BNC.